In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Lightroom Mobile to do a high key image. Okay, so we're going to go into Lightroom Mobile. Um, if you haven't added your photos for editing, remember you're going to do that by clicking at the bottom right, the plus button. Okay, and then um, you can add them from your camera roll. If you favorited them or put them in a folder at the top, you can go to your favorites um, or you can choose a folder that you have already set up. Okay, once you add the photo at the top right, you wanna hit the check mark. Now, if you go back to your library, you can go to recently added or you can go to all photos, um, but basically you're gonna find your photo that you're gonna edit. So then we're gonna click on the photo um, that we wanna edit for high key. To remind you, high key is where the photo is light overall. It has a lot of bright tones to it um, and less darker tones. So with this photo, it's a good image to choose for that. The color doesn't work well. Usually with high key or low key images, um, they're black and white. Not always, but a lot of times they are. And the color in this photo isn't great, so it's a good candidate for it. It also has lighter tones overall. Before I even do that, the first thing, um, I'm gonna crop it. It is crooked. So I'm gonna go down to the crop tool at the bottom and I'm just gonna use the uh, straightening. Okay, so I wanna make sure those lines are parallel to something that's gonna make this image straighter. I think right about there. Maybe a little more. Okay, and then at the bottom, I'm gonna apply it by clicking the check mark. Okay, now I'm gonna start the high key. So um, first thing I need to do is make this black and white. I'm gonna go into the color panel at the bottom and there are a couple ways I can do this. First, I can just click the black and white at the top left. Okay. I can also go down to the saturation slider and I can bring that all the way down to zero. It does look slightly different, so you can choose different methods for different photos. For this one, I'm gonna do it that way. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is go into the light panel at the bottom. So remember, for a high key image, the tones are brighter. So the first thing I need to do is bring up the exposure. With this image, I am starting to lose some of the detail at the top, but I'm gonna recover that in a second. So I'm just gonna get the overall look of the photo the way I want it. And then if I still have shadows that are too dark, I can go into the shadow slider and I can also brighten those. Okay, now if I've lost detail in the highlights that I want, I can bring the highlight slider down to the left. And you can see that's um, defining that shape at the top a little bit better. I have to go back a little bit back and forth between shadows and highlights to get the tone the way that I want it to be. So just play around with those three sliders. Okay, and the next thing I wanna do is see if I should change my contrast. So sometimes you need to up the contrast when you do a high key image so the image doesn't look completely washed out. Another way that might work better sometimes is to go into the effects slider at the bottom and bring up the clarity instead. Okay, so clarity might work better because it's gonna add definition um, and contrast at the same time. There is also a texture slider, so that's something else you can play with if you want the texture of your photo to stand out. And then one last thing you wanna check is to go um, into the detail panel at the bottom. And you may or may not need to sharpen your image. Um, you can always use your fingers to zoom in and then see if adding sharpening would look good. On this particular photo, I don't need the sharpening, um, but in my next demo, I'm gonna show that. Okay, so that is our high key image, and that is the end of this demo.